In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at multiple exciting things, but none more exciting than these analogs for July to August. So we're taking a look at the rest of summer pretty much in today's video, I guess is what you could call it. And already on screen, you're probably seeing it and thinking this is absolutely nuts, but this is legitimately what our analogs are calling for. Uh, before we get into things right away, I just want to tell you guys about our business, Prestige Weather. We do have early access to the fall and the winter forecast out right now, so you can join that today and get access to that immediately. Uh, it's definitely, definitely worth at least checking out. It's only $5 a month, and we're also doing weather consulting, so we give you guys a call once a week. At least for now, we're trying that out uh, to see if you guys like it or not, so that is a limited time potentially only, but be sure to check it out. It's definitely worth the $5. Uh, check it out today in the pinned comment and description down below and up above in the card in your top right. Anyway, let's get into things. These analogs, first off, guys, very warm here for the Northwest. Okay, this is like two to three degrees above average. And for a two-month period, that is extremely uh, far above average. Now, the East, as you can see, would be just persistent cold air pouring into these central and eastern regions of the United States. And we're going to be on the lookout for this. Already, we're kind of seeing signs in the short range of things like this happening. So definitely very interesting to see this model already calling for this. Or better yet, these analogs calling for this. It's 2015, 2009, and 2004, by the way, if you're curious. So you guys have been eating up the analogs whenever I show them. So I wanted to kind of present these to you guys today. The precipitation would look something like this. And I know this is kind of all over the place. And I wish it wasn't, but it is. Uh, we can see the East Coast. A lot of storminess and this is actually how things have been and then this kind of extends back through the ohio valley into some of the plains and this is in general the most above average areas the gulf and, and kind of deeper south would be below average and they certainly have been actually already so maybe a continuation of that and then kind of the north central states and these areas have also been relatively dry so it's crazy to see how these analogs have already been on point and how they may continue to just be completely on point uh, so, or the analogs better yet, and just the models. I mean, everything has been calling for this all around. It makes my job very easy when things are all just kind of aligning to, to very simply. Uh, there has been periods of time over the, what, four year history of my channel, five year history, where things have not aligned this well, and it's been very challenging to say the least. So it is nice to see uh, this kind of really simplistic, easy to understand, and just really, really, all coming together in agreement from the models, the analogs, everything. So definitely uh, some appreciation there for me. Uh, we do see that our previous 30 days have looked like this. So cooler temperatures in the east, also for the west. Although uh, the more recent trend has been warming in these areas, which would be a positive PNA, Pacific North American Oscillation is what that would stand for. And this just means that very warm temperatures have developed along the western uh, regions of North America. And this forces cold air basically southward for the central and eastern states. And that has been really the, the pattern we've been watching for very, very closely. Now, the European Ensemble model, I want to just take us uh, to today. Uh, so we'll, we'll be taking a look at this. And as you can see, uh, for Monday the 10th, we can see cooler temperatures moving southward. So this looks a lot like the analogs. It looks a lot like uh, the past, not too much like the past 30 days, but we can see how it's kind of developed to this. And then we see this just monster of a positive PNA here. So this is exactly what I was just telling you guys about. Very classic pattern, nothing unheard of. We're not reinventing the wheel here by any means with this pattern, but it is certainly a very interesting pattern to see in the summertime. Uh, and it's going to be curious to see if this continues. Now, our European extended model here, I want to take us through this. It's called the weekly model, the European weekly model. We do see cooler temperatures here for a lot of the central states, the northeast states as well, here from the 10th through the 7th here. Uh, and then let's take, let's take this to the 17th through the, or was it, yeah, 17th through the 24th here. And this is when the model gets really, really unconfident. We're probably not gonna see coast to coast warmth like this as that would, that would be running, reinventing the wheel there. That is a very unusual pattern. Um, but probably what's happening here is we have multiple model members in this ensemble model, and they're all disagreeing, some showing warmth in the West, some showing warmth in the East. And what it's doing is just causing this mayhem of just not, nothing, no clear information. So that is likely what we're seeing. Over time, though, you can see kind of like this 30th through the 6th time frame of August, that is. Uh, we see very warm conditions building in for the West. 
which would be kind of like a positive PNA, just, just much more extreme. And then we could see cooler temperatures here for the Northeast, which has been one of the coldest regions this summer so far. Uh, so it would be very interesting to see if th there is like a continuation of that. And even as we extend all the way from the 12th through the 19th, we could see warmth from the Ohio Valley westward towards the Northwest and Southwest here along the Western seaboard. And then we see more of these neutral to below average temperatures for the Southeast into the Northeast. So that is what this model is calling for at this point. Very interesting. Let's take a look at our precipitation stuff. So we're gonna just break this up separately, but we can see that we have dealt with above average precipitation, significantly above average precipitation here for the east, as well as this area in the Northern Plains and the Northern Rockies as well. Far above average precipitation. Your greens is anywhere from about an inch to three inches above average, which is significant for a 30 day period like this. But even more significant is the blue areas where we've been three to even 10 uh, inches above average. So very, very crazy stuff here happening in the precipitation. And then right in between, look at this. We've seen very, very dry conditions for the North Central and the South Central, like we were talking about on the analogs earlier. Look at this. These areas have been extremely dry, just like those analogs were showing, like I was talking about. So things have kind of aligned like the analogs are showing, like I mentioned. So it has been interesting to watch all of these uh, analogs come together and really, really pan out thus far. So. Very validating, very exciting, and it makes me feel very good about what we've been talking about for a while now. Now, here is the precipitation anomalies forecast. And as you can see, we are gonna begin to see more precipitation for these plains areas that have been very dry. Uh, all of that activity begins to move eastward here by midweek this week. So we see mostly this area dealing with above average precipitation. Um, by the time we're reaching into the weekend here, this is what the, the look would be. We see the Northeast getting involved. We see some of the Ohio Valley back through the plains getting involved with the above average precipitation. Um, and really nowhere is too dry here, so we're not gonna touch on that too much. And over time, as we reach the kind of 14th through 9th time frame here, what we end up seeing is mostly the Ohio Valley and the Northeast here being the main areas dealing with this above average precipitation. And then kind of your Gulf states the most dry, like our analogs have showed. So again, very, very on par with what the analogs have showed. Let's just move through even further with this. And this is gonna be our seven day anomalies. And this is gonna take us to the uh, 15th through the 22nd here. So that's gonna be our first seven day period we look at. Uh, and we do expect above average precipitation for a lot of these Northeast areas, as well as the Ohio Valley. And then again, the Gulf and South Central dealing with the most dry conditions here, according to this European extended model. Again, this is that weekly model, but the precipitation this time. Uh, let's just move this towards uh, the 22nd through the 29th. And as you can see, the Eastern Seaboard becomes the most active area here that we're taking a look at. And then kind of the, when it rains, it pours and we get kind of more precipitation in those areas that have already seen a ton. And then we get more dry conditions here in those areas that have already been dry. So that's obviously bad news overall. Um, now here is the 29th through the 6th of August. And again, just the Eastern Seaboard looks like the most active area here. And then we're seeing more dry conditions where things have already been quite dry. I wanna take us all the way to the end here, which is gonna get us into the kind of, I guess this would be the third week, second or third week of August. And still the most above average looking area is gonna be your Eastern region. And then the North Central uh, and Midwest is gonna be your most below average looking region. So very, very interesting to see this continuing to kinda of just worsen. So we're gonna to have to see over time if this is in fact what happens. Be sure to subscribe. We do upload every single day and we're gonna be really just tracking all of this with you guys. You can even hit the bell icon for daily notifications when we upload so you never miss one. Be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.